So the first thing that you want to do when you first get into a game of resistance is open up your armory. You're going to want to check this before you start each area. There's three areas in each map. The first, what's worked for me the best is buying a new gun and spend the rest on ammo. You don't really need to buy an herb right now because you have one. To be safe, if you want to buy an extra one before you buy the rest of your ammo, you can. Keep in mind at the top, your umbrella credits, which I have one. Those run out, so you can find those scattered along the map. But if but if you see it, make sure you grab them because someone else can grab them as well. But um, I think they're all shared anyway, so it's fine. But if you do see those, you still grab them. Uh, it helps you and your teammates out. I actually did not know that until I was opening this up and I saw my credits go up, which I know I didn't grab any. So yeah, so don't even worry about um, grabbing them before your teammates. But if you do grab, if you do see herbs or blue herbs or anything like that, make sure you grab them. I'm pretty sure those aren't shared between uh, teammates, but your credits are. I just found that out. So the first thing you want to do as well for your weapons anyway, before you even go to shoot anything, drop this gun. If you have the MUP or MUP, whatever, drop it. I don't know if Capcom was trolling us, but this gun sucks. Drop it. Get it out of your inventory. Don't ever use it unless you have to. You want to buy the Matilda or you want to buy the Quick Draw? I think it's random. Sometimes I get the Quick Draw here. Sometimes I get the Matilda. I don't know if it depends on the map or the box or what, but um, you want to get rid of that. Melee weapons are really strong, too. Keep that in mind if you run out of ammo. You can carry a melee weapon. But the first thing, you usually just, I usually just buy ammo uh, and I buy a gun. Make sure you buy the gun first, though, <laughs> or you won't have enough to buy the, um, the gun if you buy ammo first. When it comes to cameras for January, of course, you can hold your R1 to disable the camera. I'm not going to do the whole animation because I want to show you something. Or you can shoot the camera out. With her, she has disruptor rounds, like I said uh, before, so you can actually do more damage to the camera. He's not actually watching the camera right now. You would see his name over the camera, Chaos Spiral. You would see his name over the camera. You would know he's actually watching you at that specific moment. So you can actually corner shoot a, ca a camera. You stay out of line of sight without actually taking any damage. If you stand behind a wall, then make sure that your your crosshair is on the camera. Even if your your character doesn't look like she's on it, you can actually sit behind a wall and shoot the camera. It's a little tip from me. You learn that from me. The wall. <laughs> um, also, make sure uh, to keep in mind if you have a teammate next to you near you you always want to stay near your teammates but if you do have a teammate near you and they are getting grabbed by a zombie you're going to want to shoot that zombie before their entire um animation is finished and what i mean by animation is when a zombie grabs you or your teammate you're going to see the animation of your teammate struggling with the zombie if you've played resident evil games you already know this but if you're there you're nearby you can shoot that zombie and stop them from doing the maximum damage to your teammate and I'll show you how that works in a second. Okay, so at the next one, usually I do end up buying at least one nade or one flash grenade. Those are very important, especially when the bosses come out, because that's a way to stun them quickly. And then I'll just end up spending the rest and more ammo. If you need herbs, you can buy an herb. But if you haven't been damaged or you feel confident, just spend the rest in, a, in, um, in ammo. Make sure you always gra grab blue herbs, because you will be getting infect infected often in this game. Especially depending on which mastermind you're playing against. There are some infection traps in the game, so keep that in mind. Also, when getting bit, you have a chance of becoming infected. As you can see, the Matilda is really good for holding enemies back because it has a lot of it has a lot of ammo in the clip and it has good stun capabilities. Once you get the whole like burst into them, it usually sh sits them down. Or at least make some backup off of you, give you a chance to get out of a corner or out of a bad spot. I'm looking for an opportunity to save a teammate who's already being grabbed before they take the maximum damage. I'm still looking for that opportunity. Some umbrella credits is going to grab those for our teammates. Right now, we're looking for the security guard. Seems someone has found him. Always make sure to keep an eye on what's going around. Be aware of your surroundings and your teammates so that you know that your teammates have found an important item. Always watch your six too. If you see the ones like this that are glowing, I think those are the ones that have actually more health, I'm assuming. I'm not exactly sure about that yet, but 
I'm gonna go ahead and say those are the ones that have extra health when they're glowing. And you'll know if the mastermind actually comes down to the map. She's right there. I don't think I got it. I think he still took the maximum damage from the bite. But if a teammate get oh he blinded us. If a teammate gets grabbed, if you stun the zombie, be, stun lock the zombie before they bite, you save them a lot of time and a lot of hurt. You also save your team time overall. Okay, Williams here. This is really bad because we're in a bad spot. Actually, we have a loop right here. So we're actually okay. Unless I get grabbed. No, we don't have a loop. We're trapped in this corner. That's bad. Oh, my teammate is dead. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. <laughs> I was able to throw a grenade more quickly before he got grabbed. I would have been able to save him before William started his animation of bashing his skull in, basically. At this point, William is really strong. If you don't have, like, super strong weapons, the best thing you can do is just run from a boss. Because the bosses are timed. You want to just keep your distance if you can. If you find yourself backed in a corner, you're most likely dead unless you have a grenade. Or hide. You can always hide. If he doesn't happen to see you, then you're fine. Unfortunately, he grabbed my teammate before I can get over there, so he's already dead. I'm just going to kill this guy and get some more time. I can't get by William because he's blocking me, so I'm going to step back. We might be dead here. Let's see. Don't think he noticed us. My teammate right here is actually infected. He noticed us, so we're in a lot of trouble right now. Don't go that way, teammate. Don't go that way, teammate. You lose a lot of time running from William, but you're going to lose more time if you die. Oh, I saw this and still stepped in it at the last second. I think William is actually, his time actually ran out, so we're good. Yeah, the bad thing about traps is that he can literally, there could not be a trap here, but as you're walking, he can place the trap right in front of you. So that's one thing I don't think should be a thing. I don't think you should be able to place a trap right in front of a survivor as you're running because that doesn't seem very fair. But that's just, that just is, it is what it is at this point right now. I'm assuming things will get changed eventually, little things like that. I also don't think that you should be able to um, place traps in front of doorways so when a survivor opens the door, they get grabbed by a trap and there's 20,000 zombies that the mastermind spawned in there. A situation like that, that was really bad. I walk in, there's already a trap there. I get spawned on by a bunch of enemies, I'm dead. Luckily, my teammates are actually here with me so they might be able to clutch it up and save me. Or get eight by <laughs> That works too. <laughs> oh no. So I'm just trying to give you guys a thought process on everything I think about when I'm playing. It's kind of hard to do as I'm playing, but hopefully some of my tips helped you guys out. These guys actually picked me up. That's kind of kind of clutch. We are out of time though. The game is pretty much over. It took us way too long to actually find. Uh, the security stations in round two, you have to find the security guard, kill him, and then get his key, card key. Then you have to go to three different security stations and unlock them, and then you get to the next area. That's how that works. And we still could clutch it, but we just kill everything here. <laughs> we could get some time back by killing all these dogs. She's in a trap. We're going to help her out of that. This is a perfect situation. She gets grabbed, but she doesn't take the bite and the full damage because we were able to, uh, to stun lock him or stun him out of doing the full damage to him. Him as well. He didn't. He doesn't take a bite. We save him. So be always be aware of your teammates. If they get grabbed next to you, try your best to shoot the enemy before they bite your teammates or do like a lot more damage. We might actually be able to clutch this. I don't think we'll have enough time in the end game. Having a lot of time in the beginning is very important. Let's get this out of the way so he can't see us. He's actually watching that camera right now, but we're going to disable it. It's going to give us a quick 10 seconds. I don't know where the door is. It's actually this way. I'm throwing. Somehow we got a whole minute back. But yeah, you definitely want to have like a really, like at least three or four minutes when you're finishing this area to be safe for the next area because it's going to take you a while to find the cores depending on what map it is. 
Let's just all gather here. You want to just go ahead and gather so that you can go ahead and get to the cutscene for the next area. If you linger around like next to the exit gate and one person is not at the door, it's wasting time. So you always want to go ahead and meet up with your teammates and get there. For me, I was rambling, so I didn't even notice where I was going. I probably should have, like I said, uh, did the gameplay and then just talked after so I could concentrate on what I'm talking about. But we're kind of just doing a thought process as we're going along. At the end, make sure you got nades. I have two flashes. I have two nades, so that's pretty good. What I'm going to do here is just buy a bunch of ammo. I'm going to buy herb, too. Keep it always checking and keeping in mind how many credits I have before I run out. I see that I have what I need, so I'm just going to burn the rest on ammo. You're going to need it at the last part, trust me. They're demolishing this guy. That works for me. So this is the last part. But the last part, you're going to want to... I don't have enough. Find the cores. Here's one. This is what they look like. You're going to want to find those. We got lucky. We found this first one early. You're definitely going to want to find them early. Let's see where this goes. Okay, this is going to raise the bridge up first so we can go by. I've actually never been to this last part on this map. This is going to be my first time making it this far. Then what you're going to want to do is get together with your teammates and destroy this as fast as possible. I see a zombie approaching, so I'm going to go ahead and take him down so he doesn't interrupt my teammates from destroying the core. Having at least one person keep an eye around while people are destroying always works out too. As long as you have at least two people shooting at the core or smashing it using a sledgehammer is very effective as well. As long as you have like at least two people there, you're okay. But you need at least another one person, like one more person to like watch to watch you guys back while you're destroying the core. There's a trap there. Now we just have to look for two more cores. So we still have a chance to clutch this game. It's not over yet. Uh, he's actually on this camera. He's using a gun. So I'm going to go ahead and disable this before he can shoot my teammates. A lot of times you can save your R1 for when he's actually looking at you at that moment. William is actually here, so that's really bad. I'm going to try to hopefully don't get stun locked, but I did, so that's very unfortunate. Very unfortunate that he dropped down next to me and swung before I can get away. As soon as you see him drop down, you want to get a distance as fast as possible, because if he starts swinging, you're going to get stun locked. You're going to keep getting hit, and it's going to keep putting you into an infinite stun, and a lot of times you won't be able to get out of it. So unfortunately, I costed my team 30 seconds. That's bad. Always make sure to look for marks that pop up on your map like that. That means that's a key item, which means someone found the bio core. I don't know where this guy's going. Once your teammates find an item, a key item that you need to get to the next level, uh, it will show it for you as well. I didn't mean to waste that grenade. That's bad. That's fine because we have a couple more. All right, now what the mastermind is doing is just spawning everything possible that he can, that he has on him, just to slow us down more. Which can also work against him because we can use that to get more time back. Fortunately, I um, didn't get the stun on him, so I'm getting bit anyway. Losing more time. So this might be over. I don't even know how to get over there. I'm still new at this map, so. Looks like it's not that way. That's broken off. I'm just trying to give us as much time as possible to get over there. I'm going to get grabbed again, aren't I? I'm just trying to buy our teammates time. That they're at the core, so I'm just trying to buy them some time. I myself can't get to the core, so I'm just gonna keep shooting and try to give them more time. This is very important. If you can't if you can't find a way to the core and you're surrounded by enemies, just fight. The more you fight, the more time you give your teammates to destroy the core. William's actually back. That's a lot of issues coming at me at once. I'm gonna go ahead and toss a grenade. Just to try to buy some time. I hope I'm not blocking myself into a corner right now. I'm infected, so this is gonna might get this might get me killed. Yeah, it got me. It's gonna get me killed. Being infected. I might be okay. Did he lock this door? He didn't. We're just gonna keep running. I don't know this map, but it's working out right now that this is like an area where I can just keep looping around.
Is he gone already? I think he's gone already. Is this the last core? I think we're at the last core. We are. No, we're not. This one's not actually. I think we're out of time. Looks like we we can't seem to look at the last core. I don't know where it is either. It's probably on this side of the map somewhere. Oh man, we are cutting it close here. There's another one here. Oh, we found it. Oh my god, I want to throw a grenade so bad right here. Or a flash or something. I don't think we're going to get it unless they kill something. Kill something, kill something, kill something. Oh, we ran out of time. That was so close. We actually found it, but we just didn't have enough time. I bought my teammates as much time as possible. Uh, unfortunately, w William cost us a lot of time there. You actually can get William out of the game really quickly if you all have really strong weapons. It's best to use special weapons. If you have multiple people in your game with special weapons, like the minigun or the RPG, shot, uh, spark shot, things like that, you can actually take William on or Mr. X or whoever your boss is pretty quickly and you can get them out. But if you don't have like really good weapons, your best bet is most likely just to run away, loot them, and hopefully he focuses on one person, waste, you know, waste time, and while other people can get objectives done. But yeah, I hope those tips and tricks helped you guys out. You guys out. And uh, I will see you in the next one. I'll be covering some more things too, just to help you guys out with different characters. But for now, um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know in the comments below if that helped you out, if I taught you something you didn't know, anything like that. I'll see you guys in the next one.